Hey guys, we're at CES 22 with uh, Mr. Doyle over here. We're at the booth AMO, and we're trying to learn how does AI help with all the data collection. Right now, there's uh, lots of redundant data that we don't really know what's it about. Like, we have to have humans looking at them. So, AMO's here to change that. So, Mr. Doyle, would you take it away? Sure. Uh, my name is Doyle Chong, and I'm a head of global sales in uh, AMO. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very thrilled to be here to do the showcase of the smart labeling and how AI disrupt in the labeling industry. Because it's not just all about the data collection and labeling. We actually have a, a, those are one stop system that which is all scattered right now for the, all the um, in the data labeling industry. For example, we're working with a lot of automotive and OEMs and how there's a data is, uh, has been collected and labeled. Because our AI-based smart labeling technology is, is give you the some disruption of how those are collection and labeling can be done by deep learning-based AI technology. Mm -hmm. So we have around uh, this industry for the six years right now. Uh, recently, we've got some investment about the 12 million uh, from our uh, seven strong VCs. Mm -hmm. The reason is that is why they invest the money to us. Because, because this technology based on AI disrupt our the labeling technology. It, I think that's uh, is awesome to see that uh, our clients and, and partners is uh, want us to pay attention to us. Right, so they're saving time by not having humans manually look at the data and see what that is all about. Yeah. This AMO is all doing all the heavy lifting for you, essentially. Yeah, right. yeah. So how is this gonna um, come into the automotive industry? Yeah. So uh, that's, a, that's a very simple and complex question, right? <laughs> yeah. But at the OEMs and auto, automakers, mm -hmm. the, for the, you know, to make it uh, self-driving happens, right? right it's, for right. example, autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. And then massive of data has to be collected as well as some labels. Right. Yeah. So for example, like millions of the data and has been accumulated or the by collections. So how do in the day label that? It, it, it's just, it, it used to be lean on the human labelers, like right. the thousands of people, they just label by themselves right. in, in about the yeah. very time consuming a stress job. Right. But uh, our smart labeling technology and helps you to boost up on the speed and accuracy. Mm -hmm. So I think the self-driving technology, self-driving um, like some industry, people had to the, pay attention the, you know, the, in, in, in terms of uh, some uh, time saving and then the resources saving, also the money saving. Got it. Yeah. Well, I hope you get a lot of American clients. We have a lot of automotive industry in Texas, so sure. maybe, hopefully, we'll see you with Tesla. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, because I think the, uh, it, it's a great story that how Tesla actually put a lot of investment, also resources for the uh, labeling. Because right. they right. do have around 1,000 people to do it. Right. In house, is right. not they they don't outsource. Yeah. So like how important it is like the, how Tesla is make the self driving labeling happens in 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 a, you know this, this kind of industry. So I think that right. it, this is this is great and how we involve those industry yeah. and a lot of OEMs and automakers uh, will eventually capture uh, the signals how we disrupt our the data labeling technology. Fantastic. Well, yeah. I hope you work with Mr. Elon Musk someday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some, uh, some, sometime in the future, yes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Doyle. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.